This is our city, located at the juncture of three famous Pennsylvania rivers and surrounded by a county whose industry has contributed to the progress of the state and of the nation, whose fine homes make for good living, whose agricultural products add to the state's wealth, and whose natural beauty is marked by every visitor. Here in one of the world's greatest industrial centers, the people have learned to look for progress. Searching for progress not only in their factories, but in their five colleges and universities, and in their museums as well. Here in Dinosaur Hall at Carnegie Museum is a world famous exhibit of fossils. These relics of the past, now etched in stone, tell the story of the geologic ages when Pittsburgh's natural wealth was formed, its deposits of coal and limestone, and its great waterways. But the people are not only looking backward. Through their scientific laboratories, like Mellon Institute, they are peering into the future, studying, experimenting, testing, finding new ways of doing things better, and playing a national role in the advancement of science and industry. For in Allegheny County, the people have learned a great secret. They have learned how to combine industrial growth with intellectual and cultural advancement. To tell this story to the nation is the purpose of the Pittsburgh Bicentennial Association, an organization formed to plan the celebration of the 200th anniversary of the city's naming and to trace the development of the area. It started here at the site of the old fort when General Forbes wrote his famous letter to Pitt, naming the area after the British Prime Minister. Our history will be remembered. The days of Pontiac's rebellion, the Indian campaigns, and the importance of Pittsburgh to the whole state when it provided the eastern country with a gateway to the west. But emphasis will also be placed on today's accomplishments how the modern Pittsburgh has gained and held its present position of dominance among the cities of the world. Here at the point, a drama will be presented, telling the story of Pittsburgh's founding and how it made the change from an important fort to an important city. The Committee on Religion will show how religious thinking has molded the city's growth and given inspiration to its people. Several major art exhibits will be held to show the world the part that Pittsburgh has played in artistic development. The Science Committee has planned important national meetings, one each month during the bicentennial year, and a symposium of leading authorities who, each in his own field, will prophesy what the future holds. Boys like these, interested in sports, will have a chance to see important events throughout the year Events brought here by the Bicentennial Association. Music will be featured too, with special performances of popular as well as classical works. The Committee on Health, using facilities such as the Pitt Medical School, will tell the story of Pittsburgh's dramatic emergence as a leading medical center in America. While in the schools, 
The students will be working on projects designed to inspire them with an awareness of their heritage, social, cultural, and spiritual. Industry will have a dominant role in the celebration, for Carnegie Institute of Technology has agreed to assume responsibility for planning an industrial exhibit that will tell the story of the area's contribution to American industry, both in the past and in the present. Other committees, such as law, education, and aviation, will show what is happening in their respective fields and will highlight the area's progress and the contributions it is making toward the development of the whole state. From this program will come better understanding, better recognition among all the people, not only here, but in other cities like this one, of what Pittsburgh is doing. How it has successfully blended all aspects of man's living into a story of human and civic progress. How 200 years ago, it was the gateway to the West, and how today, through the efforts of its people, it has now become the gateway to the future.